They spin around a different sun and they are light years away. But these three worlds could be a lot like our own. To say that astronomers are excited about their discovery would be something of an understatement. We're live here at NASA headquarters. At NASA, they held a special press conference. What we really have in this story is a major step forward towards answering one of these very questions that are at the heart of so many of our philosophers of what we're thinking about when we're by ourselves. And that basically is, are we alone out there? They've identified seven planets orbiting a small star, which is just 8% of the mass of our sun. The planets move in a very close orbit and on most of them, surface temperatures are thought to range between 1 and 100 degrees Celsius. Three of these planets are thought to have the best chance of supporting life. They are in what's known as the Goldilocks zone, not too hot and not too cold, permitting the presence of large amounts of liquid water. Finding the planets wasn't easy. Astronomers around the world worked together to keep constant watch on the star. Slight dips in its brightness indicated the passing of the planets in front of it. In order to make this discovery, it was required to have continuous coverage of this star. So an awful lot of telescopes uh, collaborated to observe this particular star with sort of overlapping blocks of time. So it's just fantastic to be a, a, you know, a part of it. As well as the small matter of the possibility of extraterrestrial life, the planet's discovery could also herald a new era in the study of space. This discovery is an absolute goldmine. We're looking at a star which is the most common type of star in the galaxy. The sun is comparatively rare, but these common red dwarf stars, it turns out, can host systems of multiple worlds. And that really raises our hopes of finding Earth-like planets scattered among the stars in our galaxy. TRAPPIST-1 is the name the astronomers have given to the star at the centre of the new system, which is so far away that it would take around 800,000 years to get there. Science will have to make do with stargazing for now. Geraint Vincent, News at 10.